Well, I would say a lot of resilience in our results. Uh, while we are facing a global market where there were a lot of lockdowns and disruption with our customers, especially of construction sites, the turnover just reduced in H1 by 10%. But most striking has been the resiliency of our operating profit at 13.6%, going down by a little bit more than one point. But if you compare to the last large crisis we had to face in 2009, that's three times more resiliency or three times less of a dip in the operating profit. On another signature of, uh, of, the, of, of this first half is a strong cash generation, which which really confirms the dynamics that we had had in 2019, 1 billion of cash at the end of H1, which is an historical high. And let me ask you, um, you've said that you were helped by a strong second quarter rebound in China. Can you just put a bit more flesh on the bones for us there? Because obviously you can open up factories very quickly after the lockdown. But demand and new orders take a little while longer to begin coming through. What can you tell us about the rebound in China? Yeah, well, uh, China's rebounded. Of course, China was the first impacted by, by, by the COVID-19, uh, but then rebounded very fast from uh, the early stage of Q2. On, on uh, pretty much restarting all the construction sites, on restarting all the manufacturing where we supply energy management system, where we supply automation system, where we supply software. Uh, so actually, uh, China has been growing uh, vigorously in, uh, in, um, in uh, Q2. Now, uh, China is only a part of our business. When I look at the rest of the world, some parts of the world have been doing also very well, like very well. I mean, given the circumstances, the north of Europe has been very resilient, uh, choosing not to have steep and long lockdowns. Uh, the economy has kept going. The U.S. has been very varied according to the parts and according to, uh, to the elements of, uh, of contagion. So globally, uh, what we've seen in terms of resiliency for Schneider is that there has been a big traction for our digital and service solutions. Uh, as customers were facing the COVID, there was much more demand for, of course, efficiency to reduce the cost, but more so a demand to do everything from remote. And that would mean, that means for us controlling the installation that we deliver because they are connected from remote, interacting and collaborating on software uh, while people are at home. So designing a new manufacturing or plant or a new machine on our software, everybody from remote, and also everything linked to e-commerce to source our products and be able uh, to install them on each work site. So digitization in our portfolio has been the big winner of this H1 marked by the COVID. And don't forget that it's new for Schneider because it's only 10 years old. But today, everything which is linked to digital and services make 50% of our sales. But clearly, we've seen much more adoption and much more traction for this part of the offer, uh, which has been clearly accelerated by the virus.